Hey guys, just wanted to give you a, a quick review and look at this new Cold Steel Maxim knife. It is, um, it's produced by Cold Steel, but they put the Maxim label on it. Oh, I'm sorry. There you go. Maxim. And, um, this is a really great EDC knife, I think. Um, it, you know, sometimes more small, smaller knives that we carry just get a little too small. And, um, so this knife's a great option there. I'll, um... It may be a little bit big, you know, to um, take in certain places. Like, you know, you probably can't take this through airport security or, well, you can't take any knife. But it'd probably draw some attention there. Um, I don't know. Certain places you probably couldn't take it. But I think it's a really good EDC knife. It's, I mean, you never know when you'll just need to, you know, chop down a tree or, I don't know, cut somebody out of a car or, you know, lots of handy stuff like that that you run into every day. And, uh... Here's a size comparison of a K-bar. But, um, so, I mean, even opening letters and packages, I think that this knife would function great in that role. And, um, it only weighs a uh, feather light five pounds. So, it's really, really light knife, easy to carry. I mean, you forget you even have it on your person a lot of the time. So, it's a, so it's a great knife for that. Um, here, I'll, I'll show you how, how it rides in the pocket. Um, it, it's an okay clip on here. The clip doesn't exist, but it's uh, it rides in the pocket pretty well. So here's a pair of jeans. I'll slide it in there, and uh, so there you go. Um, rides pretty good. By the way, I mean check out that beautiful rosewood handle. Um, really great rosewood on there. That's beautiful. Really great finish over this all. It does have brass liners in here to um give strength however they are not skeletonized so I'm disappointed on that I think that this, they could have made this an even better lightweight knife if they had been able to uh, skeletonize those but you know it's still pretty light right now uh, the PLU I'd put this in or philosophy of use I would definitely put this in an EDC either heavy or light EDC um, it could function great as a uh, as a soldier knife even I mean it's a folder so it's pretty compact and yet you can just whip that thing, fling that thing out of there, and you, I mean you practically have a two-hand sword here. So it's, that's beautiful, you know. And then when you're done, you can go eat dinner with it. So it's a really it's a multi-purpose knife. Um, you can choke up on it up here with this kind of finger flat right there, and really get some some very fine controlled carving done right like right there if you need to. Um, and also for non-lethal, you could, um, use this as a club, although I probably wouldn't hit on the lock there. I'd probably hit more this way. Or you could, you know, hold it one-handed and hit them this way. I mean, that's a big piece of metal there. Um, so it's a great non-lethal baton or something like that. Um, and for women, this is a great thing to keep in your purse, you know, for whatever you need to do. Um, so, it's a great EDC knife out by Cold Steel right now, um, and, uh, oh, I forgot to talk about this, it has a lanyard hole there, so if you want to put a lanyard on this, um, you could wear it on a necklace if you want, um, so, uh, uh, one, one hit I will give this is that it's all pin construction, so if you put it in salt water, you won't be able to, um, to take it apart and fix it, but you know what? It's kind of that great pen style, pen knife style knife, very traditional and functional. And um, so I'll see you guys later. And just wanted to give you a quick look at this uh, new cold steel knife. So see you guys.